Good luck. All right, so um, yeah, lately I've been playing this strategy. So let's continue in this vein. Um, against Static Rook, I've been playing Fourth Foul Rook. So we, this is how we'll continue playing. Against Swinging Rook, we've been preferring a third file. Um, so it's double the study, double the fun. Um, right. Thankfully, I have been watching as Hatyu and uh, Shogi Harbor have been presenting um, a series on the fourth file rook strategy. Uh, we will see how much of this I can recall during gameplay. I am a bit concerned about this bishop striking this pawn here. Um, obviously this is not where the bishop wants to go. Um, okay, I don't understand what my opponent is doing already. The notion here is that the silver could come out and this could apply pressure. I kind of get that. Um, how aggressive am I feeling today? I think I do want to leave this square uh, in case my bishop needs it, in case their silver does something crazy here. So we're not going to encase ourselves on either edge of this board. Um, All right. Um, we'll play this up, and perhaps the rook's not even going to... Well, I have to choose... If I'm going to castle to the right, as I always do, I'll have to select whether or not um, my rook goes to third, fourth, or some other file. Um... I've been trying to defer that choice to give myself as much flexibility as I could want. Um, but soon I'll be selecting, and I think it will either be second or third file. Uh, posing Rook here seems to make some sense because I could pretty readily exchange Rooks if I desire it. Um... And I could always move the rook to some other file if necessary. Um, yeah, so let's play this. Note that there is a cheapo, not that I'm aiming for it, but in the event that we exchange pawns here, bishop takes pawn, discovers uh, attack between the rooks until this king moves. So this beckons the king to move. And my king should likewise move somewhere safer. Um, I'm a bit concerned that I don't know which of these pawns they're going to move next. Wow. Okay. Makes sense. Um, if you're going to do something bold, do it before I attack. So, yeah. Um, I'm not looking to exchange bishops or anything crazy right now, so we'll bring our king into Mino um, in a way that saves a tempo, I believe. Uh, I don't want to be caught with no castle here, so 
I'm going to build Mino and tuck the king in the back rank. Um, so, ideally, our king would already be safely encased in our Mino castle. But through a move order thing, I've ended up playing both my edge pawns. Perhaps this is lost to tempo. Um, hmm. Right, so here... I mean, if I'm going to complete Mino Castle... This is strong from the side. Hmm. I'm just paranoid that eventually this bishop is going to... Well, my king is exposed where it stands. We should go into the half mino and soon decide do we want to play full mino or leave this gold um, where it protects against various drops. Um, building the full Mino castle will be valuable, but this is somewhat aggressive for them to be pushing all these pawns. It means if things get exchanged, they'll be able to dictate the pace of the game. Um, Okay, let's complete Mino Castle and not do anything overly aggressive at this time. Um, man, this is complicated. That would block my silver. Yeah, I guess we'll build high Mino. Um, or at least provide ourselves that possibility. Um, what is this? It's aggressive. Well, no, it's just... Hmm. I'm confused. It doesn't take a lot to confuse me. Um, so if I offer this exchange, and they drop a pawn I take here, they push the pawn. No, I could take the pawn back. If I take here, um, they can trap my bishop. So... I hate to do this symmetrical move, but I just don't know what else to try. I mean, I could complete high Mino. Um, let's complete this high Mino that we started building. Doesn't really make sense to do this. I don't have a need to do that right now. Um,
Hmm. My silver's loose. Um. Man, this is complicated. So if I push and we exchange, I'm threatening to take the pawn. They can defend this with either the silver or the gold. And then I'm pinned and I can unpin myself. They could drop a pawn in the way and I cry. Um, so that's not worth doing. I just don't know what else is going on in this position. It's difficult to arrange a pawn break. It is so difficult to arrange a pawn break here. I'm not sure what to do. Attacking from the castle is unwise, but I just am at a loss for any other plan of attack. Opening this diagonal here looks much too risky, um, and offering exchanges down the second file here also looks perilous. Trying to break on the edge looks counterproductive. All right, so here at least I'm not offering the pawn to get this. Um, here I'm taking the pawn to get this position. So I will have a pawn in hand, but my rook will still be sad. Um, I have to take this. No, but how do I take it? Well, I have to take it this way. Um... And we have to recapture here. So we're two pawns to the good with a sad position. Um, Wow. Uh, I see. There's no tricks here this time. That's gonna hurt. Um, well, I could defend the knight, but the knight's pinned. Um, I 
Why am I looking at defensive moves? It's because if I put the bishop down, things don't improve. Um, Yeah, this will somehow be okay. It's not the way we imagined it. Um. Mm hmm. Bishop drop, pawn takes, bishop takes. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. Um. Yeah, I hallucinated a little. That's that's okay. We play what we must because we can. So we're attacking the knight and the pawn. If they promote, we promote a bishop. If they take a rook, we take a rook. It's not quite that simple because their rook can dodge and my knight can't go anywhere. But we'll have taken a knight and this rook can run away. And their rook's going to promote. And we'll have a promoted bishop. They'll get a promoted bishop. Um, it's not great. Um, but I don't see anything better. I'm surprised that they're surprised. They must have seen something like this in a previous game. Um, but it must still be good for them. Uh, what's the alternative to pawn takes pawn? Like, defending the knight and letting me take here? That can't be right. Um, maybe they're planning ahead after pawn takes pawn. Or double checking something. Maybe somehow after I take this knight and promote, that just gets more complicated than I imagined. Although I can't see how. Maybe they're just being cautious. I mean, bishop takes knight might be possible, but it seems highly unlikely. It does gain a tempo. Well, but I can do the same thing back to them, so... So yeah, unless it's like gold protecting the knight, and I take here, and somehow their attack works anyway. Which I guess would involve rook takes bishop and trying to promote... Yeah, and this seems like this has to be played out. So their rook stops one rank short of promoting if it races up this turn. Um, or I'm a bit confused as, like, if they do play the rook up, um, I guess it's also threatening to take this pawn, so I can't exactly trap the rook. So, or rather, yeah, I was thinking like a knight drop here, a pawn drop, if the rook move all the way back, but it's just going to move up and start taking things. Um, so, um, I never got this knight developed. Eh, things will be okay somehow. So if I drop the knight in a terrible spot, um, they could sack the token for it and promote here, take this knight and stuff. Um, if I use my horse to chase the rook, they could chase down my horse. Yeah, that's not my best use of time. Man, it's I don't want to retreat my rook to the side, but... 
I don't see anything better. This is a really sad place for a rook. Um, mm hmm. I suppose we'll take this lance, which could be useful. I'm considering a 5-5 lance drop, taking here, doing a knight drop, taking one of these points. Um, it would be better to hit the king directly, but how can we do that? Yeah, this feels like this has to be right. So just hacking down the, uh, this side of this corner of the castle. I don't see how it's going to help my rook get active. Um, that'll still be an uphill battle. But I, as best as I can tell, I don't have any better way to attack their king. Perhaps they're considering silver takes. Um, and if they do, I don't know if I should do bishop takes or silver takes. I need active pieces, but exchanging bishops here just... I don't know if... like My bishop in the corner is very sad. My silver wants to attack but my opponent will find a way to defend. Yeah, so I think it's best for me to bring the silver up. Even though it does not do my bishop in the corner any favors. So um, for instance, oh, okay. That's a bit direct. Um, we're going to start hitting, um, as promised right here. Yeah, it makes sense they want to do that. Um, hmm. Dang. I did not think this through. Well, this is cornered. Um, let's try to uncorner my bishop, find a good square for it. Uh, 
So if I retreat the bishop back here, it hits the token and well, allows this pin. But the pin doesn't do very much. Okay. Oh! Yeah, this is attacked twice. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. That's effective. Crap. Um. This is going to end in sadness, but let's try it anyway. I would like to use the knight in a better way than this. Um, the knight does still influence toward the castle, but... Um, Pushing the pawn doesn't help me any. Okay, let's chase um, these generals. Our castle, in theory, should be harder than theirs. Um, but our castle's going to collapse under the pressure of this lance. And the knight that they haven't even dropped yet. So. Yeah. I mean, what do I even do here? It's just such a strong attack. No, I fully expected Lance takes. Um. If that also works, we're in trouble. Oh, okay, I see. Wow. Jeez. That's brutal. I'm going to try to get this back to defend the castle. It's much too late, but we'll try. The problem here is that two rooks on my back rank, plus a knight that's about to drop, are going to ruin everything. And there's very little hope that I can do anything to defend my castle. Um, well, if they take the rook, I could drop a silver, forking their bishop and token. But then they just take a general with check. So, yeah, this is pretty pathetic. Um... I don't have much of a choice but to take that. But taking it is just going to accelerate their attack further. Um, I doubt that this is going to help any. I'm just not seeing any way for me to continue attacking. Uh, this 
in theory could stall them from dropping pieces on these same squares. Um, I think the problem though is that they take my gold. Um, Like, I have considered, like, what if I drop a lance and try to hit the head of the king? There's just nothing there. If I start taking the generals, I'm a zillion tempi too slow. All right. Um, I have to take this. There's really not a choice there. So, yeah, bishop could help me attack. But I'm still so far away from their castle. I could drop a bishop to hit the rook. Um, yeah, if I were in their shoes, I'd just take the silver. But... Um, or the gold. I just, yeah, what am I talking about? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Okay. To check is to chase, they say. Um. My king looks very chaseable. Um, I cannot capture this silver. I don't think it meant... Oh, shoot. Usually you're supposed to move to the side. Here, as always, I'm afraid of horizontally moving pieces, dropping on 2-8 or 8-2. Um, so I'm trying to run away. So, yeah, the problem with racing my king forward is that this is the direction that the battle is at, or in. Um, oh, oh. Now I see the error. Okay. I was intending to take here. It's not all sunshine and rainbows after I take this pawn. Very far from it. Um, that's a problem. Yeah, taking the pawn... Like, the pawn's not the greatest problem here. The problem is all the pieces that drop as soon as this line opens. So we attack the dragon. We attack the king. It's not anywhere near good enough, but we did muster some sort of an attack. Right. So if I retreat, I just get mated. Um, but, and I did not manage to read out a mate if I advance, although it wouldn't surprise me if I do get mated running forward. Um, Yeah, 
in particular that rook drop in hand uh, decides so many variations. Um, so I can't freely run my king forward. All right, so I still don't see a mate. I mean, I have only one move here. Um, so we'll play the one move. Um, and it looks like my king is in dire straits. But what's their next move? I could push this pawn to his strike the rook. Um, my king does not have far to run, even if I push this to give it somewhere to run. Actually, it's not so trivial. You, usually the opponent would have all these squares covered in various other ways, or have a gold drop that could make it impossible for my king to start running that way. Um, all right. Uh, now they have a gold. Um, Let's capture this. I'm not sure what just happened. I think they forgot that I had attacked their dragon. Um, I mean, yeah, my king's in a really bad spot, but... Um, Hmm. All right, so now they're threatening to undermine my pawn here. Um, so I'd intended a lance drop right here to try to deal with that. Um, my king can run a little bit, but not very much. It doesn't look good. We need to strike their king. I've been looking at this bishop takes pawn sack. It's no good. Um, so they're taking a silver with check. Um, oh, I could take this general, but I read gold drop, king up, silver mate. So we're just going to run. Because I have not read out a mate this way. Granted, it's, uh, nobody <laughs> wants to be on the, nobody wants to defend. Attacking is more fun than defending. Um, okay, wow. Uh, yeah, this makes some sense. Um, but... Uh, again, an early escape of the king is worth eight moves, they say. So escaping looks quite reasonable here. Let's just run. So after we're done running, we'll have a counterattack. Um, somehow I've also trapped their rook, so if my king could just survive this for a little bit, We'll have a very, very strong counterattack. 
if my king survives. Um, well, I'm sorry, the rook could dodge to the side, but that's not going to happen. Because um, I start taking all their generals. Yeah, they're just going to continue attacking here. Uh, okay. I did not expect this because, as mentioned, I can take out the support of their castle. Um, every tempo counts. Let's not squander them. Often dropping a pawn has been useful to uh, protect my king. I don't know if that's worth doing here. This blocks my bishop temporarily, but I'm just really concerned about pieces dropping right in front of my king. So we're playing one move to calm the position down before we come up with something creative here. Um, I think I have to take that with my silver. Again, if I have Tempe, I'm intending to run away. Um, so, but also, like, if I could find a move that both attacked and defended, that would be excellent. Blocking my bishop is not great from a perspective of attacking. Uh, right. So, they gradually approach my king. Um... I don't understand how to meet that. <laughs> Prepare another escape route for the king. This might work. I hope this works. 5-5 five five is such an uncommon... Oh, I could even just start running the king. It's probably better than doing this. Um, yeah, so this promotes... So now they're threatening dropping on this side. Um, so I think it's best for me to just run away. With the caveat that I have to make it safely up the board if I'm going to run. Put one, two, three. They only have so many pieces they can drop to continue attacking. Hmm. So they're threatening now to drop a piece here. Um, yeah, let's just run. It's no time like the present. So... 
Yeah, I need to find an attack. I can't just run forever. I can run a lot, but running forever is not possible. Um, that's clever. I think they waited until just the right moment to play that. They too have been balancing attack and defense this entire time. We are going to approach their king. I have to have some confidence. Running forever is not an answer, so... Um, we'd better have something here. I am threatening, eventually, bishop takes knight and a rook drop next to the king, but they'll just put a gold somewhere here and make my attack look silly. Um, so I'm also threatening lance takes and a rook drop here, uh, which might work. The more I think about it, this would force their king to run, although it's going to run forward. Hmm. Mm hmm. It's a tricky position. If I take king takes drop, they drop. Can't force their king to move forward a second time. Sanjuvio. Yeah, we're going to take here. Um, I don't see a check that allows their rook into this attack. Strange. Sanjuvio. We're doing the sack. I tried my best to read various ideas, but I don't see any of them completely working here. It would be excellent to have a complete working idea. I don't have one yet. Somehow I thought this would be fine. Perhaps it is. I'm not sure what they should block this with. Pawn. Um,
30秒40秒50秒1 So yes, I'm sacrificing my bishop, which is super dangerous. Um but it would also divide their castle if they actually took it. Yes, they probably should. Um. Hmm. Okay, we take this. We're trying to get the square gap dragon. Uh, we might actually get it. And then we get that with the gold on the head here. That I think would be mate. All right, so yeah, they see that as well. Um. I think I'm boned. I see nothing here. Rather, I see danger everywhere. I see no haven. Um, so either I'm extremely lucky or I am dead. There's no in between here. I would run forward if I thought running forward would get me anywhere. Oh! I saw checks from every direction except that one. That is crushing. Um, that feels crushing. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Um, wait, that's not a general. It doesn't need to be a general. Okay. Um, so as I run, I think I'm going to have to aim for the promoted knight next, even if they do end up promoting here. Yeah, I think if they sack for this bold. I have to take the knight instead of the bishop. I think I get mated if I take the bishop. Well, no, my king could run back this way. Oh my goodness. Um...
Even with two golds, my king could still run back toward this. That doesn't seem right. No, that can't be right. Uh, the corner or offers so much more space than center here. If I take their gold drop and various general drops will destroy me. Actually, if they gold drop here, I could sack for it. Um. Hmm. Running into the heart of the attack would not be smart. Yeah, we have to run away from this attack. If they would just take one tempo to secure their king, they would probably be much better off than with this crazy attack they've been pursuing. Um, I don't know if it's possible to, to secure a king in this position, but it feels like they should have some way that could be able to save their king. Um, right, so if I run up, I get checked. If I run to the side, I get checked. Oh, this is not good. Um, wow. Okay. Let's avoid the immediate horse check. So if they want to check me again, it's going to be with a gold. My king runs up, and another gold, my king runs up again. Okay, they finally try to secure their king a bit. Also take another general that they could use for an attack. Um, This can't be right, but what am I supposed to do? There's nowhere to run. You're supposed to lead an attack with lighter pieces than that, but I don't have lighter pieces. Oh! Okay. Yeah. I see the error in my ways. Um, they probably, they almost certainly see it, but uh, let's just verify. Yeah, this sacrifice. Um... Hmm. Yeah, with two more generals left. Well? Oh. Yeah, this is clever. So if we take the gold, we're hosed. Um, 
But no, this gold can actually just keep running up the board, and here we're mated, and there's no way out. Alright, very good game. Nicely played. Woo! Alright. That was exciting. <sighs> so the idea with the teaching ladder, as we always welcome more and more players to join it. <laughs> the most exciting. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Um. <laughs> Yeah, use your imagination for what a long time means, but yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh! Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, that's entirely fair. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, he's leaving host's position. I guess I should hand him the host's hat in case he wants to show something. Um, do I usually play with chess? Yes. No, I actually use these typically. Um... Yeah, this was a long game. Um, the fact that my king was sometimes threatening to escape through 5-5 was a bit nuts. You don't usually see that. Um, but okay. Uh, yeah, somewhere around here. Well, Lily was saying, I think, 88 or 89 something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So this is something I've been doing. Um, to try to understand what my opponent's up to. Um, uh, yeah. So, I'm not... Like, of all of my swinging rook openings, probably my opposing rook is my weakest. Um, although we got... Uh, I did manage to find a tactic that made the game um, plenty exciting anyway. Yeah. I would be moving the pieces around. Well, you know, since I don't think he's making... Oh, okay, he's making moves again. Perhaps, um, as part of post-game analysis, especially with these sharper positions, it can be useful to load an engine to try to help figure it out. Yeah. Um, so... I was thinking, surely... Um, hmm. Surely my king is cornered now. Um... I just don't know. Oh, I am actually attacking something with this retreat. I missed this idea. Yeah. Uh, cool. 
yeah, it's very kind of them to try to uh, accommodate our schedule. Um, they proposed this match time. I think it was the best time that could work for both of us. Uh, so we'll start from the beginning. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I need to work on this one. So I played it. Um, teaching ladder games are an opportunity to try stuff. Um, I'm unsure what my uh, priority here should be. So, like, there's this, I think, and this, and this, and I don't know. Um, maybe this. So, I assume there's at least more than one way to play this. Um, we could always uh, load an engine to try to figure it out, or take a look at the opening database on PlayShogi. Um, so, like... This is interesting how they built this up. Um. Yeah, or maybe I could like do something like this. It's just I don't super know this. Um so we did play high mino we moved the silver again and we lived to regret it but um we did regret it after this happened uh. Uh. uh well so this one I mean this is a nice little attack um, right so the way the game continued in fact um, was this No doubt Lily's studied this one already. <laughs> uh, I just say that because Lily has an attacking style, so like this sort of stuff appears to be up her alley. Um, yeah, I'm not so sure. Oh, well, yeah, I was looking at this. And heck if I know what happens next. Um... Like, this is threatened. It's not super easy to deal with. Um, well, since my rook's trapped, what can be done? Uh, I don't know. Um, we've got spectators, that's for sure. Um, Uh, yeah, I don't really know how this is going to go. Um, yeah. Uh, like, if to share this on Shogi Harbors. Next Shogi Sunday live stream. Because, like, she'll have some opinion. We'll need opinions from strong players to try to piece together what happened here. Um, I see this is possible. I just don't have a constructive way to look at it. Um, set standard to sacrifice the exchange to harass the rook. Oh, 
cool. That's good to know. Yeah, so... Um, yeah. Uh, I wonder, given just how the game played out, would it make sense to... I don't know what else could be put into this sequence. Um, yeah, this pawn move may or... The other thing I was considering is, what about this? Um, uh, so... Yeah. We'll have to run that through um, with Geeko or something. I don't know how we figure this out, but um, one possible line could be something like this. Um, and I'm just stumped. Um, yeah, whatever. But the game progressed this way. Um, we took the lance and immediately placed it. Um, I still think this is fine, despite this pawn drop. Um, this pawn drop is supposed to discourage me a bit. Oh, right. This actually slows me down. So yeah, the pawn drop gains a tempo, but allows me to strike um, against 5-3 or 5-7 here. Um, hmm. Yeah, actually, this is probably best for them. Uh, this makes sense. This makes sense. Uh, here I expected Lance takes. Um, yeah. So this way, um, yeah, this begins uh, the end game. <laughs> um, there's way, way, way too much for me to figure out. Um, hmm. Wait, did they have a mate directly here, I wonder? Is this playable? Hmm. Yeah, that would have made this game less exciting. One bishop is missing. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Well, the, I mean, we got the one bishop lingering at five six, the other sitting on the peace stand, and this sack. Um, I mean, surely I'm just made it here, right? Um, I don't know which way to go here. But it, this looks like I don't have much escape. So, um... Yeah, instead we got this. Yeah, actually this was overly heavy. And, yeah, I wonder. Maybe just the scheduling of this game distracted us both. Me, because it's the end of my weekend, and there, it's because it's during their week. So, um, either way, really exciting game, really interesting opening. Um... Yeah, in retrospect, this is probably smarter.
but um, hmm. yeah, there's not really any way I can get back into this at this point. Um, so yeah, my lance drop is just not smart. Is there something smart I can do here? Probably, but can I find it? That would be quite an ask. Um, yeah, no, they just played brilliantly in this opening and middle game to this point. And anything I can do to start attacking is just much too late. Um, when I push this pawn... Uh, um, yeah, this pawn push was uh, did not help me later on. I mean, it did in one way, but it should not have. They should not have just put the silver here. This is too slow, too little, too late. Um... Yeah, I guess I should review games by higher players. There's not a whole lot I can learn from studying my own game here. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks everyone uh, for enjoying this game. Yeah, I don't really know what else to add to this. Uh, um, very well played on my opponent's part. I almost came back, and yeah, just for those curious who didn't see like how this does mate in the final position, this is the final mate, and if we back up just a little bit, um, if I take the gold, similar themes recur here. Um, maybe I hallucinated something here. Uh, it's entirely possible. I'm already making excuses, but like, uh, I don't know. It's embarrassing that um, I was certain that I was... Yeah, no, I am mated here. I'm just struggling to justify it here. So if I run up, this is mate. And if I run back, um, this is mate. So that's why I did what I did toward the end there. Uh, but yeah, this is just too many pieces attacking. Um, we'll leave much of this for engines to run through, but uh, I will be curious to see um, what Shogi Harbor recommends just in terms of opposing rook games. Or, yeah, I could also take a look at other players' games as they play them on the server. As games are played, uh, the opening is listed. Um, so, one thing that they recommend with chest study is that you pick some sort of, um, person who, some master whose games you would try to emulate, and perhaps I need to do something similar if I'm going to try to learn Opposing Rook, is look at games by a decent Opposing Rook player. I understand that pro game databases are not readily available, however... Amateur games uh, can still be freely available, so um, yeah, it would be worth if I could find a player on 81 Dojo who just plays opposing Rook a lot. Uh, I could watch what they do and see if I could borrow some of their ideas. Um, yeah, our opponent made a very convincing attack throughout the entire game, minus a couple points where they might have got distracted attacking my king and. Um, yeah, I just couldn't find an attack. Maybe I had mate somewhere. I don't think so. If I had something, it was... Um, if I had a winning position, it would be he-she rather than checkmate. Checkmate refers to delivering, um, winning the game by uh, a series of checks. Or as in chess, we would call just any sequence of moves that forces the end of the game in checkmate. Um, yeah. So, it was exciting. Hope everybody enjoyed this.